Welcome back to the Patchwork Project. This time, we are here to experience June, which is a month that I don't remember for three reasons. First of all, it's October when I'm filming this. Second of all, I've repressed the entire time that we lived in Reading. Third of all, I was just not in a good state mentally during June. I think that's pretty evident from the fact that there are essentially no clips from this month and the fact that I don't explain anything. I'll get to that in a minute, but you can also tell. As I've said in a couple of videos, I just was not in a good headspace, generally speaking, when we were in Reading. But also in June, um, Fiona and I had to start thinking about where we were going to move because we knew that we had to move out of our house at the end of July and we wanted to move to London, but we'd only just got settled in Reading, as you've seen, and moving to London was really intimidating and I would have to quit my job and find another one. So that's what I was referring to when I talk about um, June being the start of a stressful period. I never explained that in any of the clips. When it's really, really clear to me is the footage from Rome. And I don't explain that at any point in this either. I just all of a sudden like am in Italy. My friend AD, who I feel like you're probably familiar with, um, was going to be in Europe in June and July. By this point in the year, like, I needed to see my friends from home. Like, thank God Alessia moved at the same time I did, or I do not know what I would have done. But yeah, AD is one of my best friends. We've been friends for, like, 13 years. And if she were in the hemisphere and I didn't see her, like, that would have, like, that would have been breaking point, I think. Making that decision to go was one of the best things that I've done this year. First of all, it was, like, a nice little break and I got to see my friend, but also AD is one of my friends who always kind of puts things in perspective in a really positive way. Like even when I lived in Melbourne, every time I would see her like for coffee, I would leave and I would be in a really, really good place mentally. And so having that little break and being able to see one of my friends from home and it specifically being her was one of the best things that I could have done. And you can tell that after I get back from that trip, there's a shift. But I'm gonna stop rambling at you. I hope I've explained the things that I left out in this video. Oh, this is June. <laughs> Good morning, it's the 1st of June today, which is terrifying on so many levels. Not the least of which being the fact that this is the start of the most intense two months of like trying to find jobs and trying to find houses and just like a lot of stressful stuff is happening. But for now, I'm gonna go to work and ignore all of that. I'm still exhausted from Italy. Let's go smash it, it is absolutely gray outside today. So, gray, more like great. <laughs> I do like rain. I'm gonna go now. Goodbye. <laughs> Celebrity names we never questioned Whoopi Goldberg, Alicia Keys, Queen, Queen Latifah. Latifah. I was thinking, that must be her real name. Stevie Wonder. Great update. That's just that's what's going on right now. Apart from Fiona's eating ketchup on toast. Love that is fucked up. That's not okay. Andre would be Dr. Dre's name. LL Cool J stands for. Ladies love cool James. Real name, obviously, James. That's you as an artist. Yes, it is. <laughs> Another update for you. My pasta was gross, and now we're about to watch a documentary about Yetis. Pretty ant. My toast is going great, guys. Don't worry. There is precious little hard scientific evidence to go on. They don't want to be found. I made the noise like this. <laughs> All right, so like I somewhat forgot about watering my plants while I was in Italy. So they are not looking great. I've been trying to revive them, but I looked over and um, kind of looks like they're holding hands whilst they march in towards death. You wanna know what's important enough that I'm gonna finally give you an update? Well, fun story. I'm breaking in some new shoes. These will be cheap, I get a staff discount, all good. Not all good, because yesterday they gave me like the worst blisters in the entire world. Today, I was like, you know what? Sophie, my friend from work, got me blister plasters on her break yesterday, so I had those. I was gonna wear some socks. I was like, we're gonna be fine. So I put on the shoes this morning and I was like, hmm, doesn't feel horrific, doesn't feel great. Well. Let me take you through what I've got on my foot right now. There's just some sellotape holding on some gauze. So just found some gauze in the first aid kit. I was like, just fang it on there, you know? Then there is what looks like more gauze. 
but is in actuality an eye patch, which I put on top of the bottom layer, which is the blister plaster, uh, because there was a small amount of blood. Good morning, it's like 5 a.m. and I'm in the train and I hope it's going to get like, I'm very tired. None of the coffee facilities were open. I really hope we're on the right carriage. today I don't really plan on making vlogging a priority while I'm here for like the next like day um, just because I the reason that I came was mainly to like actually spend time with my friend I haven't taken like any photos yet like my snapchat's been going off but like in terms of like actually getting the good insta pics like I really haven't been doing that I've just been like spending time with AD and with Rita who's here as well who's AD's friend what's happening right now is that we came back to the hotel, took off all my makeup, I put it back on, and now we're gonna go out and eat. I do need some caffeine though because I've been awake since 3 a.m. I'm sorry that this month's video hasn't been, well, there hasn't been one <laughs> so far, um, but there's a lot going on. And I'll explain that to you when I get home, but there's just a lot going on, so I've been very stressed out. Um, and like I probably have explained at some point, like I have just been working the rest of the time. So I'm going to go find AJ and Rita and go get some food. I'll show you guys a bit of Rome, but like, I, yeah, don't expect there to be like full vlogs from this trip, like the last one, just because it's a different kind of, different kind of vibe. I really need caffeine. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> AD's here. Rita's also here, but she's in front of the camera right now. I just mainly wanted to fill you guys in on the discussion we've been having re the hippopotamus Snapchat filter. AD thinks it's an imp. It's an imp. And it is now an imp? That's a different thing. No, it's still... It's she's still been, a... She was just standing in the bathroom saying imp, imp, imp. <laughs> it's an imp. I'm like, an imp isn't a thing, first of all. Second of all, what you're thinking of is an imp, imp. which is like a small goblin that, elf. It looks nothing like that. Hi, I'm the wag that we're all talking about here. <gasps> Fun fact, we were discussing just like really important things that happened during high school, such as the Champagne Wars. Turns out, tiny world, Rita was at the yacht party where I had my first kiss. I was there. I have no recollection of ever meeting her. No. But I was there. We, we probably had too many cruisers. Oh my God, we were like Ron the coolest Chap. kids at 12 years old. We don't encourage underage drinking. Lord. Dan, they've still got it. They've still got the hot cardinals candle. Whoa! So as you can hear and see, we finished dinner. Adriana had a bit, bit of wine. It was a big glass. Yeah, it was a very big glass. Um, you know what you need to do now, AD? Google pygmy hippopotamus. We're going for a little stroll now, just to maybe, I don't know, find a coliseum. I thought you were like, it's there. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's not it, but like, A plus for trying. <laughs> Do you see now? It's a freaking hippie 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 A hippopotamus? It's not a freaking imp, is it? Look at him being serious. Yeah, I'm more into this myself. Yeah, same. Oh, damn. Yeah, he looks a bit we're aggressive. Doing, oh, He's I'm sexy. fine with that, honestly. Yeah, I'm about that. Everything is part of a scheme. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong. I'm not buying the, the disco lights from the street vendors. Comment down below. Would you love me if I had a disco light? Should I add that to my Tinder profile bio? I don't even have Tinder. I just go on Fiona's one and accept people with photos of them holding up fish. Doors of Rome, am I right? Hashtag doors of Rome. We have so much walking to do now. No, we don't. Almost getting run over in Italy, but not quite. A memoir by me. I'd come with for that book. I'd write, yeah. I read that. Yeah. I would read that. My arm's really tired. That church is really pretty. Um, I'll show it to you. Bye. Bye. Don't touch. Grazie. Don't touch. Grazie. Ciao. 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 Bye. Bye. This is the witchiest thing I've ever seen. 
Look at that. got a really good fun fact about the Pantheon. Are you ready? The little triangle bit at the very front is not quite the right height. This is because they fucked up. They oh. ordered the wrong columns, didn't they? So it was meant to be taller. Yeah, I watch documentaries. I also have a history degree, so. I'll show you, I'll show you. You see how that top bit sticks out? Like the square bit over the top of the triangle? They fucked up real bad, yes. flight ended up being delayed by like six hours like honestly it didn't bother me that much because like everyone I talked to was like oh my god are you okay are you stressed I'm like no like I was just sitting in a chair watching YouTube videos on my iPad at the airport that did mean that I didn't end up leaving Gatwick till four which means there were no trains and normally I would just wait until the trains start again at like 5 30 um but I had work the next day so i had to uber home because i live in reading um it took like an hour and a half in the uber i got to watch the sunrise though which was absolutely lovely but i made it home had a nap i got up went to work so good job me i've got a hole in my foot because remember how i told you i hope i told you that i've been breaking in um new shoes I've broken them in, they're fine. They're like a little bit uncomfortable, but they're they're nowhere near as bad as they were. However, gave myself a blister in Rome, made it worse yesterday. Um, and then I looked at it last night and it was just kind of like a hole in my flesh. So that's what's going on. Um, I just paid our electricity and gas bill, which was really fun. I'm a financially independent adult and I'm absolutely fine. I'm gonna go watch Sharktopus now. Remember when you thought um, getting your dick wet meant something that it doesn't? <laughs> she thought it meant like getting weirdly excited. I was like, no. That's pretty. Is that what I thought? I don't know what I thought. Yes. Yeah. You're like, everyone's getting their dick wet over this. Yeah, so I was like, they're, really, they're really not. That's what I thought. Yeah. So, anyway, the point of this was to show you guys my um, Sharktopus OOTN. So, I've got obviously my shark jumper. Shark slippers. I'm so excited about Sharks. Plus, you have no idea. I think I do have some idea. <laughs> Fiona's trying to capture my twit pic. <laughs> She's also I'm making. Same She's also making fun. You, you can have the exclusives that I'm taking right now. Um. She's also making fun of me for using the word twit pic. <laughs> well, yes. All photos on Twitter used to be called twit pics. They were hosted on a separate server called twit pic. Thank you so much. What 
take my toilet paper now. Bye, guys. The bang was so loud that the Black Eyed Peas forgot the time. I don't remember the song The Time by the Black Eyed Peas, but it's in Kabbalah, I'm assuming that's a reference. While Rihanna had memory loss and ran around saying, What's my name? Eminem looked around and said, I'm not afraid. Then Willow Smith began to whip her hair, which started a Far East movement. They then crashed their G6 into a club and stopped party rocking. Luckily for Nelly, it was all just a dream. <laughs> What a fucking beautiful piece of art, but it's my assumption. Yeah, we, we have a curse. <laughs> <laughs> Where anytime we're doing something real fucking weird and sad, it's always a Saturday. <laughs> but I never know what day it is because I always work, so it's fine. Let's watch Shark Shark to push. Shark to push! Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, no. Are you drinking? Yes, I am. Scotch. Good scotch. You know what? Let's have a chat. It's the next day and I'm still wearing these because I didn't go to work today. The way I started off this year was like anything I was feeling, I'd tell you about it. And that worked fine until what I started feeling was that I have no clue about anything. And that's very confusing. It's very confronting. I still don't have any clue what I'm doing generally in life. Um, I'm going to try and figure that out sometime in the next few days but right now let's just have a chat what you've missed um god knows honestly <laughs> one of the main things that i've noticed over the last month or so is that my tolerance for people has gone way down i don't know what's happened i think it's a combination of like working retail definitely huge player in this game but also, when I was in Italy with Les, there were just so many just like really annoying people getting in my personal space that like since then I've just not really recovered. So generally speaking, um, yeah, I'm just not into people right now. And I was working on Father's Day and I don't know if any of you have ever worked retail um, on Father's Day. You'd think that people would be at home spending time with their fathers, but instead, apparently, in the UK, people really like to bring their children out with them. There were just children everywhere. And I, I, the store I work in does not sell children's clothes. They were running around. They were screeching. They, there were so many of them playing hide and seek in the store. I'm like, no, no. Every time I looked at a fixture, like any time I'd look at like a bar with a bunch of sweaters hanging on it, there was just a face sticking out looking at me like a small child's face and you could tell that every parent was like oh my god how cute my child's playing hide and seek i'm like yeah there have been children here playing hide and seek for the last seven hours it's not cute control your offspring like honestly if you can't train your child to behave in public don't bring it in public and i understand i say that as someone who doesn't have a child but I also say that as someone who was raised by parents who didn't let me get away with running around screaming in stores so that's my little rant about <laughs> children. I really hope that a couple months from now, I, I'm not, I, I'm working in an area that, so first of all, uses any of my skills. And second of all, doesn't require me to interact with plebs and screaming children. That's it, I'm gonna go back to watching videos now, bye. <laughs> Googling our road, what comes up but Amelia Dyer, serial baby murderer. She lived a couple houses down at the end of the 1800s. She murdered so many babies. Like not all of them while she was living there, but like a lot of them. Like 300 babies, like at least. That's like, that's a lot. That's a lot of strangled babies. And like, when I found that out, I was like, that explains a lot about the energy of the neighborhood because everything about this neighborhood indicates that it should be like a very positive place with like a lot of really good energy because there are a lot of families, there are a lot of dogs, there's a massive park right there. Like everything is like, there should be really good energy here. But it's just like this certain stifling, sinister presence. Maybe it's because there was a fucking baby murderer that lived on this road about 100 years ago. And that house looks completely normal. I walk past it at least twice a day. And every single time now, I like slow down and stare at it. I'm like, I wonder if the people who live there know they live in a murder house. So that's just my little, little fun fact for you.
and that's been June. So that was June. I hope you at least liked seeing a tiny bit of Rome. I don't know. One thing that I do feel like was greatly downplayed, however, in this video was the shoe saga. Because the shoe saga, like, that was just... That was easily the most pressing issue of my month. I've thrown out the shoes now because every time I looked at them I got like a sympathetic pregnancy from my past self but with like foot pain. Like I would look at those shoes and I'll just be like, you took a chunk of my flesh away from me. And I don't appreciate that. So I threw them out. They're gone now. June's over now. I don't really remember most of July either but I'm pretty sure that it can't be worse than June. So let's look forward to that. This happened. I'm fine now. We never finished watching Shark to Puss, so we're gonna need to do that. That was June. This is done now. Goodbye. <laughs> a, a kind of bipedal, humanoid type creature um, out there that we just don't see very often. And it has a vast, vast area where it can keep away from humans. 